Hey friends, how's it going? I hope you're having a great day. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you're doing well. So I like to keep the vibe quite like chill and relaxed on this channel, um, but I hope just for a second, you'll excuse me. What the f is going on? I've only posted like three videos. Why are you all here? I don't even know what this channel is. What does 3,000 people even look like? What am I even meant to make videos about? I can't do this. I can't handle this pressure. What the hell should I even be making videos about? What even is this channel? Who even am I? Look, Mike, I need to tell you something. I am not a therapist, but it sounds like you could really use some help. Why are you looking at the camera like that? Let me tell you about BetterHelp. What are you doing? BetterHelp is an online... Uh, we're not sponsored by BetterHelp. Oh, right. Oh, NordVPN, sorry. No, we're not. Uh, Raid Shadow Legends, right? Nah, the channel's too small for sponsors. Oh, right. Oh. Why are you getting yourself so worked up then? Jesus, pathetic. You're a tiny channel still. You really don't have that level of responsibility worth... Look, Mike, just start by making some videos on the stuff that you like. I'm sure that's what people enjoyed about the first couple of videos. And the creators that people come back to are those that enjoy their content and have fun making videos. If it's fun for you to make, then it's most likely fun for other people to watch. <sighs> You're totally right, dude. Thank you. Oh, no way. Someone wants to send us some tech to review on the channel. Oh, no way. So, would that be a sponsor? Uh, I don't know. Would it? Oh God, what do you do? Is that selling out? It feels like selling out. Would people hate you for that? I'm pretty sure they'd hate you for that. Oh, look at me, uploaded two videos and now I'm getting all this free tech. Cool, good for you, Mike, good for you. I mean, it would make good content though, wouldn't it? And it would be relevant to the channel, but oh man, people would hate you. <laughs> Get ready to lose some of those subs, boy. <laughs> So thank you for 3,000 subscribers, uh, that's crazy. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to subscribe and watch and all the rest of it. I'm a big believer that your time and your energy are your most important currencies, even more so than money. So the fact that you're here and you've subscribed and you're spending that important currency um, on a little channel made by me is uh, very, very humbling. Um, thank you all so, so much. I massively appreciate it. And now that people are actually here and actually watching, I think I should maybe improve my setup a little bit. You know that YouTube ad where that guy's like, hey, I will show you how to make your video from looking like this to something like this. That's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. Do you wanna make your videos look like this? I think I prefer the other setup. Let me know what setup you prefer. So anyway, I thought I would make a quick little video, essentially just saying hello, introducing myself. Also, I thought this would be a good chance to test if you're here for me or you just want me for my big old deck. So who am I? So hello, my name is Mike. Uh, really nice to meet you. Um, I'm 27 years old. I am from the UK, as you can probably tell from my accent. Um, I grew up on a farm. I live with my partner, Hannah. She's great, we have a good time. I have a bit of a weird career. My main job and what takes up most of my time is I co-run a charity called Time. We run music workshops and classes for people of all ages, abilities and backgrounds. But we have a particular focus within like special needs and dementia. I run disability nightclubs and help people write songs and shoot music videos. And uh, I teach instruments and go into schools and dementia homes and care centers and hospices and essentially just make music as accessible as possible for as many people as possible. I absolutely love music. I've played music since I was about nine. Uh, my mum and dad are in bands. I've been in some questionable bands. I play a bit of drums, a bit of guitar, a bit of keyboard and yeah I'm just really lucky that I get to do that for a job. It's really really special. When I'm not doing that I create classes for sites like Skillshare. I make classes on like music theory, music production, how to use certain software and doors and mix and all that sort of stuff. It's essentially just taking a lot of the information I do in my day job and just put it online. And you can actually get free access to all of those classes right now with a link in the description. This is not a paid video. Uh, that's me just promoting myself. Making those classes is a big undertaking. It takes 
weeks and weeks of work, um, but I do really love doing it. Um, I'm quite passionate about making classes and things like that online really high quality. And when I'm not doing either of those things, I help run the family farm that I grew up on with like my mom and my dad and my sisters. Sometimes I'm driving tractors, sometimes I chew wheat. So that's fun. Um, so it's quite a varied career. And because of that, I don't really have much time. So I thought, why not start a YouTube channel? You have loads of time for that. I like making music with my friends. Um, I like playing games, nerdy things, techie things. Also like traveling, been to a couple of different cool places. That's been really fun. Huh? Wait, Mikey, your shirt. What's in my shirt? So yeah, I think that's me. Um, why I started YouTube. So I've thought about and wanted to do YouTube for a really long time. In the early days, I just felt too embarrassed to post. And more recently, I feel like I just missed the boat. YouTube is so oversaturated now, it's really hard to look at it and be like, you know what YouTube needs? Me. <laughs> for just about anything you could think of, there's a crazy good channel for. So, so it's hard to know where to fit into that nowadays, I think. But essentially, it started with me just wanting to promote my courses a little bit. I put so much time and energy and work into them, and then I just leave them. I don't do any marketing or any promo for them. So I really feel like I should be sort of marketing it somewhat. And that links into why I initially started the YouTube channel. But I didn't know if I wanted to make a channel on like just one singular thing. Um, there's quite a lot I'm interested in and I'd love to make videos about lots of different stuff but I didn't really know what to do so I ended up watching Ali Abdel's uh, Skillshare class about YouTube and he makes the fair point that no one really watches your first couple videos so I thought oh, just to get in the swing of uploading to YouTube and doing this whole filming stuff I thought I would just upload anything and after I start uploading regularly I'll sort of get a better grasp on the kind of thing I like or what this sort of channel is going to be around and I saw no one made a video about how to run Final Fantasy 14 on Steam Deck so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that no one's done it might just help some people out so let's just start there and then something crazy happened boom a nice comment I know mind-blowing and in an instant everything changed. I realized that posting videos could actually mean like meeting cool people and making friends and talking about things I enjoy and connecting with other people about that. And for me, this is 100% the most important thing now. And yeah, I just didn't really realize that that would be the case. I thought like everyone was mean on the internet, but um, I was wrong. So from there, I was like, oh, some nice people have subbed because of this Steam Deck thing. Maybe I'll just do a little video about my thoughts on the Steam Deck. Uh, so yeah, that was overwhelming. But beside it being overwhelming, it was just super exciting because it meant I could just connect with more cool people and chat about fun gaming techie stuff. And because that went down well, I thought, well, maybe I could make a video about some of the games I like on Steam Deck. And while editing, another crazy thing happened. Wait a second. Am I having fun? Making and editing videos and talking about games and tech and stuff. It's just sick. I had such a good time making that video. So this is another factor that just added into the equation. So now the order goes something like, hanging out with my, with my boys and girls, uh, having fun making videos, and third, occasionally mentioning things like classes and other things I'm doing that help me survive. <laughs> but then the logical question from that is, well, what are you gonna make videos about then? So that puts me in a weird scenario where I just really wanna make videos that I find fun and that I'm interested in. But I also don't wanna alienate anyone that's come here for like anything specific. But for now, I think it's gonna be in the realm of like tech, games and music. I'm gonna be trying some different things for a little while just to figure out what this channel is and where it's going. But what you can be sure of is that I'll always wanna put good time and energy into these videos so that they're fun and entertaining no matter what topic they're on. So yeah, I hope that's cool. Thank you for bearing with me while I find out exactly what style my content is. One week it could be a laptop review, the next anime waifu tier list. Makoto and Tifa are S tier by the way. But during this period, if you don't like where the channel is going or you're just not vibing with the content that's being made, 
that's totally cool. Um, don't feel like you need to stay subscribed. Um, like I said earlier, your time and your energy are your most precious resource and I'd never want to waste your time. So please don't feel like you need to stay subbed if it's not your thing. It's totally cool, man. I, I understand, I get it. And on that note, kind of, I am really not in the game of uh, looking to become a big YouTuber. I'm actually very keen on keeping this a uh, small channel. It's already a little bit overwhelming and I feel like if it gets too big, it will actually impede the two biggest reasons that I'm doing this. So I'm not gonna be setting like sub goals or, oh my God guys, let's smash like until we hit 10,000. It's just not my vibe. So yeah, videos might be a little bit all over the place at the minute, um, but I'm working on some more Steam Deck content. Um, on that note, thank you so much for sending in all your game suggestions in the last video. There was so many good game suggestions. I'm putting that video together very, very soon. However, you guys suggested so many good games, a lot of which I just really don't want to turn down playing, but it did make me think about maybe, possibly, perhapably, streaming one day? I think I'm getting way ahead of myself suggesting that, but I just thought that'd be super fun uh, to hang out with anyone that wants to hang out and play some of our favorite games together. So yeah, if you're ever down for that anytime, uh, just let me know. So again, I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you for being here. The only reason I'm at this really cool milestone is because, because of you. Um, so thank you so much for chilling out here with me and no matter where this sort of channel goes, I will always remember my main Steam Deck boys for getting me off the ground. Steam Deck boys, but boys is like an umbrella for everyone. Um, again, thank you for being here. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. I'll catch you really soon, guys. Thanks.